What is going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new series on my channel where I'm going to attempt to fill as many spots in the collection log as possible on my ultimate Iron Man. Uh, as you all can see as well, my account is maxed, so this is going to be a post max series. I also wanted to mention for the people that don't necessarily know what the restrictions are of an ultimate Iron Man. So it has the same restriction as an Iron Man. I can't trade people. I can't use the grand exchange, but on top of that, I can't access a bank. So everything I do has to be done through the 28 slots in my inventory. Also, I'm going to go through some of the other restrictions on the account as well so i can't withdraw deposit or note items at the bank so i can't for example just like go cut two teak trees and then use them on the banker to note them i uh, also cannot create item sets from the grand exchange i can't use kingdom cannot store anything in my seed vault and i can't store duplicate items in the player owned house costume room or withdraw items before depositing the entire set the item belongs to. So if I get an item for a set from a clue scroll, I can store it in my player owned house, but I cannot take it back out until I have the full set. And moving on to the death restrictions here, Ultimate Iron Man cannot protect their three most valuable items on death, and they also can't use the protect items prayer. So basically, if I go into the wilderness and I die, I lose everything on me. Also, I can't utilize graves. Instead, the items will drop directly to the ground. Inside instances and the God Wars dungeon, items will still be put outside with supplies dropped on the floor. Items dropped on death will remain where they are for an hour after death until despawning. Uh, this is actually something that I'm going to be utilizing a lot throughout this account. When I have, for example, a wilderness step on my clue scroll, I'll be uh, death piling so all my items are on the ground and I can go into the wilderness without worrying about losing them. And finally, untradeable items are always dropped on death. If killed in the wilderness, most items are converted into coins and dropped for the player who killed the ultimate Iron Man. So with all of that said, I did also want to preface that a lot of the stuff I end up doing early on this series is going to be stuff that a lot of you would normally have done earlier on in your accounts. Uh, since most of you know, for the last eight years, I've only really been focused on maxing my accounts. This is the first time I'm actually going to be able to do post max stuff on an account. So um, there's a lot of stuff that I just didn't need for maxing. Um, yeah, that's all the restrictions and everything out of the way. I hope you guys are excited for the series. Let's get into it. So at the moment you guys are seeing this clip, I'm still working on maxing my group Iron Man account, but I've decided I want to play this account afterwards. So I figured why not just go to Redwoods and AFK it on the side and maybe uh, I get like super lucky on a pet. I will be here for over a month though, so I feel like the chance of me actually getting it is going to be pretty high. Also, if you guys want to follow along on how much XP I've gained since I've been here, I'm going to leave um, how much total XP I have in the progress bar at the top like I usually do, so... You guys can just follow the XP there between clips. I've already gained a little over 1.3 million XP here, and as you all can see, there is level 100 woodcutting. I decided that on this account, since everything is already 99, I just use the virtual level plugin, which is really nice because it shows levels all the way up until 120. That way the videos still have some sort of like the same vibe as my other progress series. Uh, another thing here, if you look down in my inventory, I started doing all of the clue nests that I get from woodcutting. I only just started doing them once I hit 14 million XP, so I did miss out on like a million XP of doing them. Uh, originally, uh, this is meant to be like super AFK, I didn't have to pay any attention to it. But I started noticing how many nests I was getting consistently, and it became pretty obvious that I'd miss out on a ton of clues over time if I didn't do them. I usually end up getting the beginner clue here really quickly. Sometimes I'll come back here, chop one tree, and just get it instantly. So um, what I decided to do is that anytime I get... Uh, a tier of easy or above that's when I'll go do the clues and 99% of the time that is going to be with a beginner clue since I get them so early here all right another nice thing from AFKing and being logged in for so long is I'm going to constantly get random events and when it comes to the collection log slots for them I have hardly even touched it the camo top I just got here is my first piece in that set and I have a grand total of three out of 23 random event items uh, I never really cared for him since I was really only focused on maxing. Since I'm going to be here for like around a month though, I should be able to get a pretty large amount of these. Hey, there's another military random event. And that's going to be the camo bottoms. Now I just need the hat. Level 101 woodcutting. Also, here's a little update on what the clue caskets are looking like now. I have a total of 41. Ooh, this is going to give me the first piece of my Lederhosen outfit. So I got the Lederhosen shorts from that one, and that puts me up to a total of 5 now. Uh, so I'm in the middle of doing a medium clue, and I got the step to play the song Cave of the Beasts, which I don't have unlocked yet. And the way to unlock this is to do the Mountain Daughter quest, so I'm going to go and finish that really fast. Quick and easy quest out of the way, and now I'm going to go and finish this clue. 
So this is really random, but I ended up misclicking on my combat tasks and it updated to 21. Uh, I just wanted to quickly mention that to you guys in case some of you guys see it later on and you get confused on why it went up for no reason. Hey, this is going to give me another beekeeper piece. So there are the beekeeper gloves and the second piece I've gotten in that set. Up to 17.5 million XP now. There's level 102 woodcutting. Once again, another beekeeper random. And that is going to be the legs in the set up to seven total items. Well, this is a first. I'm in the middle of finishing a hard clue and I got another random event that I need. So with that, I now have the entire camo outfit. So I have one less random event that I need to do now. Level 103 woodcutting. Also, I'm up to 50 beginners, 22 easies, 21 meds, and five hard caskets. Yes, there's my first piece of the mime outfit. The last time I got this random, I ended up getting an emote instead of an outfit piece, which is obviously really annoying. And it's even more annoying knowing that there's still three more times it can happen since there's a total of four mime emotes. And 20 million total woodcutting XP since I am in a clan chat as well that has XP milestones set. You guys can also see that through the chat box. And there's another piece of the beekeeper set, only one left to go now to finish that set. All right, well, once again, I'm in the middle of a clue scroll and I have to take a break to do another quest to access it. Uh, this one in specific is probably going to make a lot of you guys confused on why it's not done yet, but that's going to be happening a lot on this account, and the quest I need to do is the observatory quest. Alright, there's a super easy quest completed that should have been done a very long time ago, probably really close to having all of the medium sashes filled now. Uh, so a couple things to mention here. First, that is the final piece of the beekeeper set with the hats, and I'm up to 11 out of 23 now. And second, I'm now at a total of 200 collection log slots with that as well. Hey, let's go. Two pieces of the mime outfit from that single random event it's nice to uh, finally get some more of those so another little side thing i need to do here um i have an easy step that requires me to have a black axe and i have to get that as a drop there's a few things you can do it from um you can get it from abyssal demons it's a one in 64 chance uh but i was looking around on the wiki and i can also get them from these feral vampires and it looks like the rate for that is a one in 42 so I went and got my whip out, and I'm just going to sit here until I manage to get that. Hey, and there it is. Only ended up taking me like five minutes or something. It was pretty fast. But uh, yeah, now with that, back to woodcutting. And there is level 104 woodcutting. Uh, this is a pretty random place for me to get one of these, but it's got a leader hose on top from another random event. Um, doing a hard clue and... Uh, had the random event pop up while I was running. Alright, I'm still on the same hard clue that I was just doing, and I'm currently on the final step of it. And I have to play the complication track, and I can unlock this from uh, being at the Chaos Altar. So, my thought here is to do the Temple of the Eye quest, and then enter the Chaos Altar at the Guardians of the Rift. I'm assuming this is going to work for this music track. If it doesn't, then that's just unlucky, but I'm going to take a break to do this quest. Alright, there is the quest completed, now I'm going to head over to the minigame. It ended up not working, that's <laughs> very surprising, so I guess I'm just going to have to make a uh, quick run to the Abyss. Alright, there we go, so going through the Abyss worked for it. I'm kind of surprised it didn't work for Guardians of the Rift, but um, now that that's out of the way, I'm going to finish this clue and go back to woodcutting. Well, time to take another break from doing woodcutting. I need to go and get myself some Mithra boots. So to get the Mithra boots, I'm just going to AFK jellies. It's a 1 in 128 drop rate here. Uh, you can also do them from warp jellies. That's half the drop rate, but they have double the HP. So I figure it's kind of like the same thing. And these are a lot easier to AFK. So nice. There's the Myth boots. It only ended up taking me about 20 minutes to get her. So also you see in the chat here, it is a collection log item for me. Um, I really had no reason to ever go for these since you could just use climbing boots but uh, yeah I've gotten a lot of the other boots I still have to get bronze boots iron boots and steel boots sometime later on as well but yeah gonna get the stash made and then it's back to woodcutting all right here's another pretty cool update that is going to be the final piece in the leader hosen outfit so now I just have the uh, full zombie outfit to finish and two more pieces of the mime set uh, I've only had like two or three sandwich ladies in the last three weeks so yeah it's gonna take a while Another woodcutting level here that is 105, and I'm up to a total of 164 reward caskets now as well. It's time once again, I need to collect some items in order to do a clue step. So for this hard step, I need to get a diamond bracelet, which uh, I can make pretty easily. But the other two I need to go out of my way a bit for. The rune boots are a 1 in 116 drop from Necreal, and in order to get the mystic fire staff, 
Um, I'm going to have to complete the Scorpion Catcher quest. I know, once again, Max UAM hasn't done Scorpion Catcher, but once I finish that quest, I can pay an NPC 40k to turn a Fire Battle Staff into a Mystic one. So the first thing here is going to be to complete that quest. All right, there's a quest completed. I'm not going to get the Mystic Staff just yet because I want to save myself more inventory space for when I do next. So like I said, the Rune Boots are a 1 in 116 drop. I also brought some Nature Runes with me since uh, these drop a ton of good... Uh, rune elk so i should make a decent amount of money here if i say somewhere near the drop rate with the current gear i have it shouldn't take me more than an hour to finish so well, i ended up going uh, dry on it so almost two hours later there they are i guess the uh, nice thing about this like i said is since i was here for longer uh, I got more Alks and my cash deck went from 5k all the way up to 660k. I was uh, pretty down bad on GP after buying my max cape, uh, so that's that helps me a lot. To get a fire battle staff, I had to go out of my way a little bit. For some reason, I had it in my head that I could just buy this from a store. So I had to go and buy a battle staff from the Mage Guild and get a Molten Glass to create an uncharged orb and finally charge it at the end of the Taverly Dungeon. Hey, there's the casket, so I was able to complete it. It ended up only being a four-step clue. There's yet another set completed in the random events. I got two more pieces of the Mime outfit from a single random, so now the only outfit I have left is the zombie outfit. And level 106 woodcutting, I also have over 100 total beginners stacked up now, and that is 107 woodcutting. Okay, finally, I managed to get a piece of this set. It literally took me almost a month just to get one piece in this set, mainly because the last two times I did this, just like with the, the mime event, I ended up getting emotes, but I, I don't know why. I just never end up getting this random. So here's a pretty big milestone, 30 million woodkinning XP, and uh, once again, as I mentioned before, um, that is going to be showing through the game chat as well. Also, the casket stacks are starting to get really big, and thinking back on it, I'm glad I forced myself to start doing these clues because I would have missed out on a lot. Hey, let's go. Two more things added to the random event log, and now I just have two more left to go until it's completed. Uh, so a pretty random place here to give you guys an update. Um, at this point, I have finished maxing my hardcore group Ironman, so it is on to this account and only this account. The reason I'm here is because I just finished a beginner clue. So I'm up to 31.7 million woodcutting XP, which means I gained almost 19 million woodcutting XP in this video, which is uh, pretty ridiculous to think about. I think that's almost like 400 total hours of uh, AFKing Redwoods. Uh, also, I'm pretty close to level 108 here too. So the thing that really sucks is I didn't end up getting the pet here at all. The drop rate for the pet from Redwoods is 27 million XP. So I'm probably like around that from... Um, counting all the XP I got from Teeks on this account. In terms of the clues though, 153 beginners, 73 easies, 66 mediums, and 14 hards. So when it comes to these, I did end up dropping, I think like 35 of them because I had wildy steps. And since I was purely AFKing on this account, I didn't want to go in death pile to go into the wilderness. Uh, for every other hard clue I do on this account, I will be death piling because I want to do as many hards as possible. So I was planning to show you guys my entire collection log here, but I know there's a lot of you that just want me to open these clues. So uh, I'll show that afterwards i do want to quickly show the um where i'm at with the clue scrolls though so i have zero beginners done zero easies done zero hards done zero elites done and 142 mediums so i've only done medium clues on this account uh, i am going to start here by opening up these beginners though so let's see if i can get anything good from these Oh, wow, there's two uniques already from uh, the 13th clue, a black pickaxe and a shoulder parrot. And there is another one, monk's robe T, nice. And there is a sandwich lady hat, nice. And there's a rune scimitar kit. Dude, I'm getting really lucky on these. I think that's like five or something in 30 clues. Oh, there's another rune scimitar kit. This one is uh, the exact same one, sadly. There's, uh, I believe there's three of them total that I can get. Yeah, so that is unlucky. Oh, I just skipped past that one. I didn't even realize that was unique. There is a jester cape. And there is a sandwich lady top. I feel like I'm getting really, really lucky with these, man. That's uh, 7 out of 16 items in 46 clues.
Ooh, some frog slippers. That is, I believe, half of the log slots. Yeah, so half the log slots completed in 61 clues. And there is a monk robe tea. Nice. Amulet of Defense T. Nice. That is going to put me at 10 out of 16 total. There is 100 beginner clues. There's another pair of frog slippers. Nice, sandwich lady bottom. I believe that is the full sandwich lady outfit. Here's the last four clues to see if I can manage to get another item here. And no, it doesn't look like it. So from the beginner clues, I got 11 out of 16 in 153 with a very minimal uh, double items in here as well. Uh, I'm definitely really happy with that. I have to go and make a rune simi so I can store this in my house though. So now that I have my rune simi here, I can go ahead and use the ornament kit on it. And now I can go into the chest in my house and I can store it here, which is really nice too because if I ever need a... Uh, Rune Simi, it's stored in my house now. Uh, you can pretty much store like everything in here. Uh, I went through and stored a bunch of these. So now that the beginner's finished, I'm going to move on to doing the easy clues. Uh, I need to go ahead and drop this duplicate and go back outside my house and I'm start opening some of these easies. So there's already a few items there. It's uh, four items. I'm expecting, of course, to get a ton of stuff here since I have zero things in my easy collection log. There's also something with these pages that I want to mention. I went to the lighthouse and I took out all of the possible books that I can get. So when you get these pages here, I can fill them in the book, of course. I have a pretty decent amount of pages already. Uh, one more page left to go in this book specifically. But what's nice about the pages is um, I can just drop these books and they'll be permanently stored with the amount of pages that I have, so go back later and get the book again and I'll still have three out of the four slots. So I'm going to keep these on me when I open the remainder of these clues. Whoa, that is a crazy clue. That's uh, three different things from one clue. Nice. Ooh, that's huge. Getting this Bob shirt. I needed one of these to fill one of my elite stashes. So I'm going to keep this on me and make a detour to fill that a little later on. Ooh, some flared trousers. Dang, these are worth 2.9 mil. That's actually a lot. What the heck? Ooh, and there's another pair of elegant legs. These are really nice to get, uh, any of the elegant pieces, because they're some of the rare things from the easy clues. There's a, another page for the Armada book.
five more clues left to see if I can manage to get any more uniques from these. Two more left, and the final clue, nothing from that. 20 total log slots from 73 clues. Of, of course, it's 73. I didn't even notice that. Uh, it's pretty good, though. I ended up getting the Bob shirt, which is the thing I needed most from the easy clues. Now, moving on to the medium clues, I have 66 of these to open. The items I'm looking for here, I, of course, need ranger boots. I still don't have ranger boots. And I'm also looking for a miter. I need one of those to fill one of my elite stashes. I also need to complete one of these books to be able to fill another elite stash. So these are the three things that I'm still looking for from the remainder of these mediums and hards. Let's go ahead and start opening some. Okay, so one thing I wanted to mention here, and I, I really hate to do this, I, I am in no way going to be able to finish any of these master clues. I don't have enough quests done, and I have literally no stashes built, so sadly, anytime I get any masters here, uh, for now, I'm just going to be dropping them. Ooh, gold elegant blouse, nice. Oh, there's the miter, nice. That's used, and an ancient page. I might have just finished my ancient book with that. Let me see here. Yes, okay, so that's huge. That's two things that I mentioned I needed. Uh, the miter and the complete book for both the elite stashes. Yes, there it is, ranger boots. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I actually just got all three things that I needed that I mentioned in the beginning. No way, man. That is so huge. That is that is absolutely huge. These things are worth 37 mil, too. That's ridiculous. All right, here's the final five mediums. Uh, just pulled two more uniques from that one. Nice. Uh, another unique from that one. And the final clue here, uh, nothing else. That's 208 total mediums completed. And the log, now I'm up to 57 out of 115. Uh, I can't remember what I started at. I think it was maybe like 40. So I got about 20 more, I think, items. Uh, but like I said before, I got pretty much everything that I needed from the mediums. Okay, finally here, I have the 14 hard clues to open. Uh, in terms of what I'm looking for here, I need a stole, two rune heraldic shields, and a crozier. And all these are to finish filling out a lot of my hard stashes. Okay, here we go. First one nothing of course uh, another master clue which I, like i said already i'm not going to be doing ancient plate body and a Sa this is a uh, really good actually sarah dehyde body that's that's huge okay let's continue opening these still have 11 left to go guthic's kite shield nice hey there's a zamorok stole that i needed i need to go and check this stash really quick so uh, for this one, I need a Rune Heraldic Shield and the Stole, so I still need to get that uh, that shield. Seven more clues left to go. There is a Sarah Plate Body and Sarah Bracers in the same clue. Six more to go. Let's see if we can get anything. Oh, I'm just getting so many Master Clues, man. This is ridiculous. There's a yeah, Rune Kite Shield G. Nothing from that one. Nothing from that one. Final three hard clues. Nothing. Nothing. And the final one... Nothing as well. A look at my hard collection log. I only managed to get seven slots, but since I only had 14 clues, that's kind of expected. I'm up to 269 slots. I started at 211 before I started opening my clues, so I got 58 more slots filled. 
um, from these clue scrolls. I uh, also wanted to show you guys this notice board here and on the notice board I'll be able to show you which stashes I have filled. So I have all the beginners filled. Uh, for the easies I don't have all of them filled. I'm kind of just doing these as I get them but I do have a vast majority of them filled. For the mediums it uh, looks like I have every single one of these filled except for one. I actually don't even know which one this is. Uh, apparently you can't get this step on Iron Man so I do have every single uh, medium stash filled. Uh, in my hearts here only three of those are filled and uh, the elites I have nothing so I do want to fill a few more of these here. I have the items in my inventory that I took out. So these are going to be three elite stashes I can fill. One of them is just a god book by itself. Uh, another one is going to be the bob shirt that I got. Uh, Rune Kite Shield, thankfully, that I also got from doing these hard clues, and I was paying attention to that, so I kept it on me. Uh, and then the other one for this is going to be a Mystic Robe Bottom, which I can just go and buy from the Mage Guild. Uh, for this one, though, with the Miter, I have to go and get a Rune Crossbow to be able to fill it. So that one will be uh, kind of annoying. Uh, also, I don't know why I forgot to mention this. I'm up to 1.6 million GP now. I'm uh, pretty sure I started with about 500k, so I got over a million GP just from alking all the, like, Rune and Addy I got from the clues. And here is the first Elite stash I'm going to be building. This is the one for the uh, Bob shirt, so there is that one completed. And this is the second one for the God Book. Um, when it comes to the Miter, I was thinking about it. I do want to try to fill as many Elite stashes as possible because I want to go to Barrows pretty early on this account. In order to fill a couple of those stashes, I need Dragon Spears. Fastest way to get those is from Gorax, and if you have a Ring of Wealth when you're killing those, the chance of getting them goes up a lot, so I want to get myself a Ring of Wealth, and it happens to work out pretty well because the Deranged Archaeologist actually drops Crystal Keys at a rate of 1 in 18, and it also drops Runite Limbs at a 1 in 25, and uh, for this stash with a Miter, I need a Rune Crossbow, as I mentioned to you guys. So going and doing the Deranged Archaeologist will actually give me two things that I need. All right, compared to the uh, last clip, this is going to be a really random transition here. So I decided after the last clip to go ahead and start editing my video. So I get another 422,000 woodcutting XP. I just went back to Redwoods while I was there. I ended up doing another hard casket. Uh, I actually did two easies. I misclicked one of them and opened them. And I have another beginner here. The reason I'm telling you guys this now is because I just got another hard clue and I have to go into the wilderness for it. Uh, so I want to open this hard really quick. So uh, I did end up getting unique from that. So that's nice. Uh, it's another one added to that. Uh, also open the easy here and then the beginner. So nothing from those two. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get this clue done and I'll see you guys back once I'm done editing the video. Okay, so I got the whole video edited. In total, I gained another 580k woodcutting XP from that. Also got another hard and beginner casket here to open as well, so let's see what I get here. Uh, nothing from the beginner, as expected, and from the hard, uh, an item I need. Nice, a Rune Heraldic Helm uh, is an item that I need to fill a hard stash, I believe. Uh, that also requires rune plate legs and a rune spear, so I'll be getting back to that a little later. Thankfully, I can just store this in my house here and take it out whenever I want to go and fill that stash, so for now, I'll just be leaving it in here. Uh, now, onto the side thing that I have to do before I go to Deranged Archaeologist. Since I mentioned that I want to do Gorax for a Dragon Spear, not only do I need the Ring of Wealth, but I also have to complete the Legends quest. Both of those two things together are required to make the drop rate lower. So I'm going to take a detour and go ahead and do that quest right now. A uh, pretty long quest out of the way. There is Legends completed. I also put all 120k of the XP reward from this quest into Herb Lore since it's uh, by far the hardest XP to get on an ultimate. So with that done, I'm going to go and gear myself for the deranged archaeologist so bear with me here i know this setup looks pretty ugly but for this boss it's uh, really good to maximize your prayer bonus since it basically does like no damage to you and it makes trips last a lot longer so i have a total of 29 total prayer bonus I'm also going to be bringing three prayer pots, one anti-poison, and some food to start off with here. Uh, I'd say I'd change my setup depending on how it goes, but I'll probably only be doing one total trip here. So this boss is very easy to do. You can just set up two tile markers like I have, and literally all you have to do is use the range protection prayer, and when the boss says learn to read, which is its special attack, you just run to the opposite square, and that's the entire boss fight. Apparently, as well, if that uh, learn to read special attack hits you, it can do up to like 90 damage or something, so you do still have to pay attention. And there's my 10th kill. I had no idea how many trident charges I was going to be using here, so I just went and filled it with 750, and over the course of those 10 kills, I was using around 19 casts per kill. 
I just figured I'd mention that to you guys if there's anybody watching this that plans to do that in the future. Well, there's an elite clue on kill 16, which is a 1 in 200 drop here. I'm definitely just going to be keeping that in my inventory and doing it afterwards. Uh, it'd be a pain if I get a wilderness step on that and I have to remanage my whole inventory again to get back here, so... Uh, I'm just going to be saving that for after. There's the first of the two items I need with the rune limbs. Finishing the combat tasks for this boss are very easy. It's just getting 25 total kills. So with that, I also have all four of those challenges completed here. Uh, there's another pair of rune limbs. Yes, there it is. Crystal key on 29 KC. So already completely done here in like 40 minutes. Uh, the kills are insanely fast. Um, but now that I have what I need, I'm going to go clear out my inventory, alk a bunch of this stuff in my inventory, and I'll see you guys back in a few minutes. Okay, so for the uh, black dragon hide that I had, I went and made those into bodies and then just alk them, if you guys are wondering where those went. First things first here, I'm going to open this crystal chest and get my dragon stone, and there's the dragon stone ring. And finally, go into enchant it, and there we go. So I have my ring of wealth, and I also have legends done, so I am ready to do Gorex. Before I start doing those, I want to make my rune crossbow so I can get rid of this miter I've been holding on to. So I have everything I need for the rune crossbow here. Let's go ahead and put the stock, and then... And finally the crossbow string so I have the rune crossbow and the miter the other thing I need for the stash is climbing boots okay now they have the climbing boots there's still one more thing I need to do here so the stash is in the shadow dungeon which is the place you go to during the desert treasure quest so I need a ring of visibility to enter it all right there's the ring of visibility I have everything I need now I'm gonna head over to the dungeon so thankfully with this this stash isn't like uh, towards the end of the dungeon or anything it's like actually just right down the ladder and you get the ring of visibility uh, like right next to it as well so uh, there is the third total elite stash, I believe, built. With all that done, I'm going to try to get this elite clue done. Hopefully, I'm able to finish it. Well, only on the second step now, and I already got hit with an emote clue, which isn't too big a deal. Since you guys know, I was planning to try to go through and build as many of these stashes as I can, so uh, it's just another detour I need to make. Uh, all three of these items are pretty easy to get. The only thing is, uh, it goes back to the quest again. I haven't done Elemental Workshop 2, so I need to do this quest in order to get the Mind Shield uh, the other two things I can just get pretty easily after that. So uh, by far my favorite part about playing this account again is looking at my clan chat's reactions. I'm in the uh, the ultimate CC, so it's just all ultimates. And it's funny seeing their reactions when I complete quests that I should have done uh, like the uh, first month of my account. So let's see if I get any good reactions when it shows up in the chat. Let's see. Got a nice little huge for the account. This changes everything. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Oh, I love it, man. There's the mind shield. Uh, now, like I mentioned, let me go and open this clue here. I need to get black dehyd man braces. Those are easy to get. Uh, the one that's going to be annoying here is the lava battle staff, though. So the lava battle staff is a 1 in 128 drop. So when I got myself set up to do that, uh, there's a stash in this game, for those of you that don't know, with the Slayer Helmet, the Dragon Defender, and also the Dragon Battle Axe. So since you have to take all three of them out anyway, I figured I'd just use the Dragon Battle Axe instead of my Strength Potions. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I don't go dry on this. I uh, ended up going a little bit over the drop right here, but I did get the Battle Staff drop. I went and uh, checked my log before I started, so I started at... 1,990, and I'm at 2,181, so it took me 191 kills to get. I also ended up getting a hard clue here, so now I have this and the elite to do. On to the next step of this clue here. Go ahead and fill this stash. That's another one completed. And the next step, of course, is straight into the wilderness. Okay, this ended up being a full seven-step elite clue, but I was able to finish it, so this is going to be the first completed elite on my account. Sadly, with a hard clue, I got to step five on it, and it gave me an emote step with a heraldic shield, which I don't have. So sadly, I do have to drop this one. I'm going to go pick up all my stuff and then open the casket. One more thing here before I open this elite clue. I need to repair my Torax plate body and my Derox plate legs. So 85k to repair both of these. So I'm going to need both of these for Gorax. I'll explain once I get there the reason I'm taking this, but almost forgot I had to go and enable the chance of me getting mimics here. So here we go. First elite clue of the account and I get a unique, nice, that's actually sick, uh, Royal Crown. So now I have everything I need to finally go and start killing Gorax. So Gorax, you can't actually pray protection against them. And every time they do a successful hit on you, one of your stats is randomly drained. So I wanted to make sure I maximized all my defensive bonuses. You can see they're all over 300 here. And since I took my defender out and I'm not going to be using my Slayer Helmet, this is just going to be sitting in the bottom of my inventory uh, since it is from my stash. I might change this depending on how much I get hit. I might need more food. But uh, as for it stands right now, this is what I'd be going with. Okay, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, I'm going to be here to get two Dragon Spears to fill my elite stashes. There's also a few things on the drop table here that are going to be very beneficial to me as well. 
Uh, one of those being the Shield Left Hef, which uh, just like the Dragon Spear has a really good drop rate here. Uh, if you have the Ring of Wealth on, and that allowed me to complete one of the elite steps in the RD Diary through making that shield. Uh, and the other one here that's really beneficial is that these also drop Tooth Halves and Loop Halves. And I'll show you guys on the screen, they drop those at a rate of 1 in 65. Uh, so they're very common as well. And the reason these are nice is because along with the spears that I need, I also need a total of four more Dragonstone items to fill stashes. Uh, it's going to be five more if I manage to get a Dragon Med Helm as well when I go to Barrows. And six if I want to fill another hard stash along with those. So the overall goal here is going to be to get six Crystal Keys, the Shield Left Half, and the two Dragon Spears. I don't know how many kills per hour this is going to be. This is my first time ever coming here. I'm going to be constantly teleporting to the Warriors Guild to get more potatoes with cheese since he's hit so often. Uh, so it's going to take away from a lot of time actually being here. Hey, there's the first big item, Shield Left Half. I've been here for only about 30 minutes so far, and I've also managed to get two Crystal Keys and an extra Tooth Half. No way, I just logged out and ate, and the first kill I get after logging back in is the first Dragon Spear. Uh, at this point, it's taken over about two hours to get the first one. Well, there it is, the second spear. I'm also up to five total crystal keys and a tooth half, so the only thing I have left to get here is the loop half now. I also got another hard clue, which I'll be doing afterwards. Okay, there's the loop half. I can finally leave now. Uh, I'm going to go and put a bunch of stuff back in the stashes that I don't need anymore. Uh, clean up my inventory a bit, and then I can get to making some of these Dragonstone items. Alright guys, so I am actually going to be ending the video here. I did realize I never even showed you guys what I have in my looting bag, so these are all the items that I have on my account right now. Uh, Carol's Leather Top, uh, Aram's Robe Skirt, and Robe Top. Uh, of course, as you guys see on me too, I have the Torax Plate Body and the uh, Darox Plate Body. So those are the Barrels items I decided to keep. Also, Peg Crystal, uh, Berserker Ring, Colt Necklace, Trident and a bunch of potions. I really don't have too much. I kind of just kept all the, the essentials that I needed for maxing my account. I decided also to push towards the end of the video showing you guys all my collection log slots. So if you guys are interested in seeing these, I'm just going to show them at the end here. Okay, so going through all these, starting off on the Sire, I haven't done this yet, but I did get a dagger from doing the normal Abyssal Demons. And I also got the head already. Uh, barrel chest, which is, uh, of course, what I'm working towards doing right now. I want to try to finish this probably in the next video. I still need four more items here. Um, as for ever, I haven't touched either of these two. Uh, Cerberus, I have two of the crystals in 263 kills. Um, let me look through here. I haven't done anything here. This one's really annoying because I do have a Berserker Ring and a Dragon Axe. I just got those before the log came out, so I'm going to have to go back and get those two. I uh, completely finished Mole, 6,100 kills there uh, from maxing my account. And then basically every single other log slot in here, I don't have anything else in. Uh, even Winter Todd, I don't have anything. Once again, uh, the items that I got in here were before the collection log came out, so I'm going to have to go back there again to get them. I uh, haven't done any raids yet on the account. The clues, I showed all of these to you guys already. Uh, as for the mini games, uh, a lot of these I still have to do. Fishing Trawler, I've completely finished. Uh, Rogue's Den. Of course, I have the Rogue's Outfit, too. Uh, I don't think I've really touched any of these other uh, mini games, Except for Tithe Farm, I got the Herb Sack and the Seed Box from that. Uh, as for the other tab in here, Total Pets, I have four. I have the Mole. Uh, two Runecrafting Pets, Rocky and the Giant Squirrel Pets. Uh, Chompies, I still need to go and finish those. I've only done nine of those. Of course, all the Defenders are completed on here. Uh, mother load i have the full outfit still have to get the coal bag and the gem bag random events you guys saw from this video i'm only two away from completing that uh, i'm done with the rooftop tab i believe i showed the slayer tab earlier on in this video too uh, there's a few things in here like the dragon boots that didn't count because once again it was before the collection log um yeah that's pretty much it um not too much to show in here since i'm only at 270 slots so i do have a lot of stuff to go through and fill uh, i tried to make this video as long as i possibly could as you guys know usually my videos are about 12 minutes long this one is gonna probably end up being between 30 and 40 minutes so i hope you guys uh enjoyed that the next video will probably be out within a week. I'm going to try to get it out between five and seven days from now. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, though, and you are new to my channel and you want to get notified when I upload that video, don't forget to drop a subscription. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for that one. Next video goal is going to be to try to finish Barrows and to try to get a ton of these elite stashes filled. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys then.